What's going on guys? Grandpa's Treasure Shop back at it with another video. Today I have something special for you. I just bought a case of the Quarter Century Bonanza and this set is insane. Uh, without further ado, I'm sure you all are aware of what this is. I'm just gonna go ahead and hop right in. There's a lot of really cool things in this set. And I'm sure you all are excited as I am trying to pull all the goodies. Oh, just look at that. The way they did the display of everything just looks so nice. Wow. This is just fantastic. Konami really outdid herself with this one. I gotta say. Yeah, so, um, I'm pretty happy uh, i have opened <laughs> most of the case but i wanted to save one box just for you guys so without further ado i'm just gonna go ahead and start ripping them Ooh, magical hats that's a nice monster born when Piece tamer and nice. So yeah, that's uh <laughs> we gotta save the QCRs here. Uh yeah, so quite a few packs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of speed through them. Ooh, that's really nice. Dark beckoning beast, thunder dragon colossus, blaster. Hmm. I'm really glad they reprinted a lot of these cards. Uh, yeah, I'm only really setting aside the QCRs for now, uh, as I'm just mainly speeding through this for you guys, but I have a whole system with organization. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Not too crazy, but, you know, <laughs> there's a whole box left, basically. Oh, wow. Colossal Fighter. That's really nice. I'm really glad they reprinted this polymerization too. Got some cool reprints. Toad, Dark Beckoning Beast. Excuse me, hiccups. Yeah, no guys, this set right here is, oh yes, a Joey classic. If you guys didn't know, um, I unfortunately lost my little brother back in 2016, who I grew up playing Yu-Gi-Oh with. His favorite character was always Joey. So anytime I pull Joey cards, it's just uh, nostalgic for me. Oh, okay. Well, that looks nice. Another QCR. Yeah. This is uh, kind of so Cyber Valley. Wow. I love how they're throwing some nostalgic retro stuff in here. That's uh, really cool. Oh, we got cherries. All right. Punishment Dragon. Wow, yeah, these cards look really good, if I do say so myself. Oh, Magic Cylinder. Sure, it's a Platinum, but like, holy, that's just almost better than the Secret, and Secret's my favorite rarity. Oh, that Draco back is sick. I like that. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see it. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. Kind of just speeding along here. <laughs> oh, Junk Synchron. I wonder if they're going to make new support where he's really relevant or something. Because I'm just questioning why they would put it in here unless it's just anime related. Oh, grass looks greener. Yeah, that's a good reprint considering uh, it's back. Oh, man. This whole set is just fun. Oh, whoa. They gave this a QCR. I actually really like that. Oh, Crowler's deck is uh, coming to life here. Swap Frog. Ooh. Gotta say, these uh, PCRs are just sick. And they uh, reprinted some Snake Eyes cards. Not all bad. It's uh, about the end of the era for it, but hey. You know, it's <laughs> going to be retro one day, right? Dragon Ravine. Okay. 
<laughs> Lure of Darkness got its 1003 print, which is fine. Seems like they all hold values, so I mean, I don't know if it really matters that much. Whole lot of Dragon Maid stuff in here. I wonder if they're releasing new support. I mean, it could be a high likelihood. Ooh, gotta say, I am a retro player. I came from back then, and this is really nice. Deep Sea Diva, oh. Yeah, the P-U-R, uh, Dark Charmer. That, that looks really good, too. Man, it seems like, uh, I'm not really huge on the P-U-Rs, but uh, I know some people really like them. They do look nice in sleeves, so I can you know, definitely say that. But uh, some P-U-Rs just look really, really nice. All right, more Six Samurai stuff. Oh, here we go. Thrust. Even in this set, this card is still value. Value City, baby. Oh, yeah, nice. Seems like, oh, 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 this was a fire set. Oh, yeah, that bonfire. Oh, man. Yeah, these cards look really nice, guys. I don't know about you guys, but I, I think this set is really worth picking up. I mean, especially if you want a max rarity dragon ruler deck. Yeah, no, this is a uh, sick. Oh my god. A wanted and then a QCR. Guys, look at that. That is really nice. I'm trying to get it without the glare for you guys, but you guys get the point. Night Assailant. Even though it's not a QCR, the platinum rares just add a lot of pizzazz to it. Okay. Yeah, ooh, that Swap Frog looks good. Man, this, <laughs> this set, they really outdid themselves. I gotta say, oh, Cyber End Dragon, that's pretty nostalgic. Right from the anime. Okay, they gotta be releasing more support for Dragon Ruler stuff. Ooh, that's beautiful. Seems like they did a whole lot of Platinum Rares in this set, which I'm not complaining. They do look really nice. It just seems they're too easier to get. Oh, wow. Heavy Storm. Sick. Whoo, another Wanted. This card is still Value City, baby. Ooh-wee. Yeah, guys, I'm going to be posting all these singles on my... Oh, my God. On my eBay. What is this? I'm telling you guys, this card is going to be like money one day. Imperial Order QCR, the highest rarity of this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this card is sick. Oh man, yeah, if dragons get support, this card's going to be fire. Wow, this whole box has just been value city. Like this whole box. Gear Town, another one. Okay. Got a Mali. Ooh, Secret Rare Grass looks greener. This looks good, too. All right. Let's see what else we can get out of this. We're literally uh, milking. Oh, man. It, I swear. It's like the same reactions every time. Konami really did a good job with this. Like, every time I see this first card, every pack, I'm just, like, blown away. Like, they did a really good job. Wish there was more cards in a pack, but, I mean, considering they're giving all these platinum rares, I can't really complain. Oh, man. I mean, if there's any platinum rare you'd want, it's this one. Gravekeeper Spy. Oh, man, that's beautiful, actually. Let me see how you guys can see it. Oh, man. Yeah, that's good. Oh, got my Dark Witch. Yeah, Diabella Star Dark Witch. This card used to be so expensive. It's still value in this set. And that is the wild part. Like, Diabella Star Dark Witch is still expensive. 
Oh my god, Debris Dragon. This card is fire too. I love that they're making Platinum Rares for all the retro stuff. That is kind of nice. Oh my god. QCR Polymerization. Where do you find this, folks? I don't know. Like, god. This card is probably expensive. I don't even know the value on this, if I'm being honest. But look how beautiful that is. Wow, this is really insane. Three packs left. And that's it. Oh, that's a random but good one. My best friend back in GOAT format used to play this. Ooh. Oh, another Dark Witch? Okay. All right. She loves me. Oh, my God. Yes. All right. We got two more packs. We got to save the best for last. Okay. That looks really good, too. Konami really did a good job with this set. Oh, I really... I was looking at the camera, and I thought this was a QCR SB. I almost lost it, guys. I almost just cut the video right there. It's like, y'all can't see this. <laughs> but you're lucky. Last pack, guys. Are we gonna pull the sauce? Are we gonna pull the... Oh, already sauce. Sakuretsu armor. I mean... I don't know how much more sauce it can get, but let's see what else we got. Okay. Okay. Oh, Secret Rare Heat Wave. Wow, yeah. This card is uh, magnificent. Yeah. Well, guys, you know, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff here. You know, quarter century bonanza. Make sure you guys go pick this up because no matter what, if you're playing retro or current format, I got to say this is the set that you need for essential staples. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Make sure you drop a like down below uh, as well as subscribe and let me leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought about this video and if I should do more of these because, you know, I just thought it would be nice since I um, tend to be an early seller of these. So, uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. This is Grandpa's Treasure Shop signing out.